What would be your first bit of advice? And I, I'm, you've given plenty of advice so far, but for a new writer, um, what's the main first thing you would say on the laundry list of things? But what would be the top thing you'd say? Read as much writing about comic books as well, as possible. Michael uh, Brian Michael Bendis has a great book. Uh, the Powers yeah, I have it over book. here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, like I'm telling you, Alan Moore has one. But that Mark Neese, Art of Comic Book Writing, it's 17 <clears throat> on Amazon. Do it. Practice. Write. There's no wrong way of doing it. Take advice. A new writer, get an editor. An editor is so important, man. It really is. It's very big. One thing yeah. I learned. Luckily, I stumbled upon it. Like I said, Michael Legacy was a letterer, but he was also an editor. And I had no editor. I didn't even realize that was part of the equation, honestly. And like, he was so helpful. And again, if he's listening to this, thanks again, man. Like, it, he was so huge in helping me story structure. So that's what I, I would learn as much about structure. Just keep writing. In comics, I mean, you know, it's, it's a collaboration. So you have multiple parties in play. You are the quote unquote, you know, you're the writer, but your script shouldn't be set in stone, right? You want to you want to yeah. have the artist be able to flow freely and take what you're writing down, but let that inspire him to maybe change the angle. Don't, you know, don't be yeah. so hell bent on revenge if he changes the angle of a panel. Like it's going, it's all for the, for the betterment of the story. I mean, the story, yeah. the best idea wins and that's, that's just how it should be. Um, and show so yeah, dude, well. great that's advice for it, it, beginning writers. Remember, you want the artist to do their job, not their mm -hmm. job, but they excel at essentially, mm -hmm. which is to show.